23 days away from one of the most important elections of our time. And my next guest dares you to imagine our country with Hillary Clinton at the helm. Author and director of the documentary Hillary's America, Dinesh D'Souza joins me now with more. All right, Dinesh, uh, talk about what Donald Trump needs to do in this next debate. He's probably in the position of a fighter who's behind on points, and it would be good for him to go for a knockout. He needs to throw to Hillary the kind of questions that will that have the chance of dropping her to the canvas. We saw in the second debate that she is not that well equipped when she moves out of familiar territory. So he needs to, and he has the guts to do it. He's probably one of the very few Republicans who does. So I think he needs to go for it and have a couple of ideas of how he can do that. Well, what's interesting is that everybody knew that because it was a town hall, it was a different different setting that he had an advantage because he's a people person. And what's interesting is she is actually in New York set up a studio, which is the exact setup of what the uh, uh, debate hall will be like on Wednesday night. And it's a moderator again, more her comfort zone. So what do you think that that he should do? What should he ask her? He should turn to her and pose questions directly to her. And I'll suggest one right now. He should say something like, look, Hillary, I mentioned the last debate that you and Bill went from zero to $300 million on a government salary. Now, you didn't invent the iPhone. You didn't start a business. So what product were you selling to enable you to get so rich? Isn't it a fact that the product that you are actually selling is U.S. government policy? And doesn't that make you the most corrupt secretary of state and possibly the most corrupt president we've ever had? And so when she says, well, my husband was making money giving speeches, what do you say? Then he says, uh, well, Hillary, uh, Bill uh, speaking fee was $150,000 in line with all the other presidents, but the moment you became Secretary of State, his speaking fee quadrupled to the $500 to $750,000 range for a 20-minute speech. Do you think people were ex- actually paying your husband to give his usual pablum and rubbish? No. This was a kind of a bribe, a down payment on something that they wanted you to do, and very often you did it, and then tens of millions of dollars flowed to your foundation. In appreciation, isn't that the pattern that we've seen again and again and again? Do you All deny right. it? What if Hillary Clinton wins? She's ahead now, but you know what? This is such a volatile election, and I truly believe that anything can happen in the next 23 days, unlike any other presidential campaign. What would America look like if she were to win? I think we will see a redefinition of the meaning of the word ladders of opportunity. I came as an immigrant to America because America offers ladders of opportunity that the guy at the bottom can climb. In Hillary's America, the ladder of opportunity is how close you are to Hillary. What have you done for Hillary? It's a little bit like the opening scene in The Godfather where you have to kiss the Godfather's ring to get ahead. That's Hillary's America. It's a more gangsterized America. It's more like what you see in countries like Venezuela and India, which are run by gangs. Well, you know, in in, in your movie, Hillary's America, and your book is what I've I've read and seen both, the, you know, the idea of not actually working but taking the Saul Alinsky model and having everyone else work and then you kind of reaping the benefits is kind of a frightening concept, but also the Constitution being brushed by the wayside. Yeah, I think for these people, politics is a way to make it, to get rich, to sort of loot the treasury. Think of what Al Capone wanted to do in Chicago. He wanted to loot the treasury, give contracts to his buddies. He wanted to walk into the big Chicago stadium, have the whole crowd shouting, Big Al, Big Al, Big Al. That's what the Clintons want. That's their vision of America with themselves as a sort of uh, idolatrous heads of it. And then the middleman, us, we lose out. We do. All right, Dinesh D'Souza, so good to have you here.